Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with buns here. We are so glad you're joining us. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my go-to favorite five meals that I just think are easy peasy, lemon squeezy as Caden would say. Easy to prepare, super frugal, and tastes delicious. <laughs> My first favorite meal, and it is my favorite meal, Caden is not down with this meal, but for me, my favorite is eggs and avocado. Mm, I'm going to show you a little clip of what I do to make it taste uh, the way I like it. By the way, if you haven't heard this way to keep your avocados fresh, um, I was told once that if you keep the pit in one side, say you have like one half and then you want to keep the other half for another meal keep the pit, the pitted side, and then when you're ready, you just take a big knife like this, slam it in there, twist, and the pit comes out like this, and then you just hit it over the trash can and get it in there, <laughs> and then you've got that left. I always, if I see like a little bit of darkness, I might like trim this up a little bit, just like around the top. Yep, so then you've got the other half of your avocado. And you know what I always do? When I'm making it for like a plate, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you guys know I have a five year old. I always take it like this and I always cut it, like I dice it up. I do these lines. You can almost feel the knife on the other side of your hand, so make sure not to do it too hard. And then I do that, I go across the other way. Are you able to see what I'm doing? There we go. Cut that. And then I just like squeeze it all out <laughs> like that. And this is actually one of my favorite things to make. I feel like it's healthy and delicious. And what I'll do is I make this, it's almost like a little, uh, avocado salsa. I might just kind of drizzle a little bit of sour cream into it, just like a little bit, and then a, just a touch of salt. And then I make scrambled eggs on the side, and I just eat that, and I think it is delicious. Yeah, the reason for the sour cream, which is probably not very usual, is uh, I just like the taste of like Mexican. I love like cheese, sour cream, avocado. Ugh. Just love it. So I kind of just, you know, if I just have a hint of it even with my meals, it makes me feel like, I don't know, it just hits my taste buds right. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to scramble up a couple eggs. I've got two eggs in here. And this is really easy. Like, I think people think it takes a while, you know, making breakfast, but this is super simple. And here are the eggs going into... Do the sure, babe. And I'll put a little bit of cheese, just sprinkle that in. Cook these two eggs up. Get ready for it to visit my avocados. All right, and then we got that. We'll just kind of move it around here. Say good morning, Kaden. Good morning. <laughs> to mix the uh, sour cream around because um, I just got a free sour cream. It's the squeeze kind. Have you guys tried this? Hold on. Ooh, I got this kind because it was free. I was shopping at Hannaford and I had the coupon for one free to try it. So for free, why wouldn't I try that? I'm not the best cook here, but some eggs and avocado. And if you want to make it cuter, you could add like some green peppers and onions and mushrooms and spice it up a little bit more. A dozen eggs around where I live costs about like $1.89. So for 12, that's like 15, 16 cents an egg. So even if you had three eggs, that's like about 50 cents. And um, the avocados I usually get are usually like a dollar. And I, own, I only eat half an avocado at a time. So that's a dollar. 
a dollar for three eggs and um, some avocados. Oh, and then I usually put the shredded cheese on top, which is like $2 for the whole bag. So, I mean, that's just a little bit more sense. So maybe just over a dollar. Frugal fabulousness, I'm telling you. The next one is pancakes. Now that is Caden's favorite. I think it's because he can help me make it too. He likes to stir up the batter, sprinkle in the cinnamon, and then, I mean, who doesn't like butter and syrup? I mean, come on now. We don't have that, um, that's usually like Sunday morning specialness. That's usually our Sunday morning treat. Um, and sometimes I don't eat that. I stay with my eggs and avocados, but Caden pancakes loves it. Pancake mix around here is, uh, if you get the generic type, it's $2. If you get Aunt Jemima, which is my favorite, um, it's $3. Syrup's about $3 and then butter and hopefully you've already bought butter because it's probably a staple in your home. So that's uh, really frugal also. And I mean, a box of pancakes will last Caden, Lord knows how long, a long time. So it's a great, great affordable frugal meal for us. Next is spaghetti. We love spaghetti. I wish I didn't love spaghetti so much, but I really do. And Caden really does too. Now, let me be clear about something. Kate doesn't cook a lot. Uh, very basic. I can't brag about my cooking skills. You will not find Kate's special recipes on here. Nope. And you won't be finding like Kate's organic secret to, no, that's just not me, you guys, and I gotta keep it real. Um, the spaghetti we get, I'm gonna show you in some clips here, but it's the generic Hannaford brand which costs 79 cents for an entire box. The sauce is also the generic traditional brand and that costs $1.49 for the jar. And um, the meatballs that we get are also the generic and that ranges, depending on the size, probably between like five and $8. But I've had a bag of meatballs in my freezer for I think a few months. We just take out like a serving every time and it's really, it lasts a long time. And then of course, Parmesan cheese, hello. Sprinkle that stuff everywhere. Uh, and that's usually like $3 for a container also. So again, it's only me and Caden eating this food. So again, dividing it up by portions, it's just, it comes out to a really frugal, uh, affordable meal. I just used some traditional pasta sauce and some meatballs. Next is a favorite for both me and Kaden. We love quesadillas. Um, if you just get the um, the tortillas, they're like two or three dollars for like a bunch, and it depends what you want to get. You can get the like carb balance one, which is a little bit more um, expensive, but. Um, or you can just get the regular ones, two to three dollars probably, and then two dollars for a bag of cheese. And like, Caden, that's all he wants. He wants, it's like a grilled cheese, but in a quesadilla, so it's a cheese quesadilla. Me, I like to add my avocados, I like to add my sour cream, and now this might sound weird to you and gross, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. I put hummus spread in my quesadillas. Is that gross? It tastes delicious. Uh, it's the Hannaford brand, Taste of Inspiration maybe, and it's like, caramelized onion balsamic and I just spread a little bit of that and maybe I'll do an egg quesadilla or a cheese quesadilla it just tastes so good um, maybe onions and peppers in there but like really low maintenance and easy breezy and delicious Caden likes straight up cheese quesadilla with fruit on the side I'll have like blueberries raspberries uh, or mandarin oranges sometimes, whatever we've got for fruit. That's what he likes, cheese quesadilla and fruit. He could eat that all day. And lastly, this one you might be like, ooh, Kate, you guys eat that? I love cereal, people. I'm a cereal addict. I love it. I love the milk, I love the cereal. It doesn't matter what kind, it could be the sugary, it could be the healthier kind. Um, I don't care if it's full of carbs, I love cereal. 
and so does Caden. I grew up on cereal. I feel like cereal has a really bad rep now, probably because the sugary ones have absolutely no nutritional value. And I'm aware of it, but I can't stop. Um, a box of cereal could be between two and five dollars, and milk around here is around three thirty a gallon. And I could eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I just I love cereal, and it's you know ten to twelve servings in there. So it's like less than a dollar per serving. It's so delicious, it's frugal, and I'm sorry, I love cereal. Sorry, not sorry. I cannot leave here without sending the most gracious shout out I can possibly send to the Money Mom. Sensible Living with Money Mom, um, everyone just knows her as Money Mom. Money Mom gave me a shout out last week and I, can't even tell you, Money Mom, how much I appreciated that. If you are not already following her, please go over and visit Money Mom. You type in Money Mom and she's going to come up. She's got a lot of subscribers and I'll tell you exactly why. First of all, she cares about her subscribers so much. And she always responds. She's always looking out for us. And not only does she, she's looking to improve her life. She is looking to create this community, not create, it's already created, that helps each other improve each other's lives. And she is so sincere and generous, and I just can't say enough about her. Her doing that shout out for me um, when she had first visited my channel and saying such kind things, Money Mom, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. If you have not gone to see Money Mom, please, please, Head over right now after you watch this video. Hit subscribe. You know you're going to want to see her. She makes videos every single day to help improve your life and to share what she knows and get more ideas from us. So go visit Money Mom. It'll make my day. It'll make her day. If you're already with Money Mom, go back and say, Kate sent me back because she just loves you so much. At the end of her video, she always says, I love you, Money Mom. I love you. And thank you for your support. And every single person watching this right now, thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate more you more than you can even imagine. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.